Microphone, we're all set. Now Ellie can come back. Come on back up. Okay, there she is. Hello, friends. Now we're set. <laughs> oh, it's a Friday. What can we say, right? Welcome, welcome uh, to my Facebook Live. I'm Peggy Noe, uh, prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And we are going to just chat today and make a card together. And I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. Um, Miss Ellie, she is, we're warm. You know, I know it's warm all over the country. Hi, ladies. Hi, Marsha Long and Linda. I see you guys. Um, and so it's a Friday afternoon. Everybody's early evening. Everybody's kind of just, you know, relaxing and being beginning to really wind down Jeanne good to see you um, Linda Leonhart Tammy good to see Tammy um, yes put prize if you want a prize Linda's from Pennsylvania let us know how your weather is it's nice here not bad you know we're um, high 80s right here where I am um, high 80s, but it's going to be fine. Tina, stormy Granite Falls, North Carolina. Ooh, stormy. But good rain, good plants, good flowers. That's the one thing where we have more cactus. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, oh gosh, it's so nice to have it be a Friday. It has been a crazy week around here. I don't know. Yes, Tina, thank you. Ellie is doing so well. She's doing much better. Um, and we're thankful she doesn't even have a bow today because we've just been so busy. I'm excited because I'm having a class tomorrow and I'm having a full class, um, which in, in this room, in my craft room, I have a table that holds six and I have um, six coming and then with me it's seven. So we're gonna be busy. Linda, stormy, 79 degrees, humid and bad air quality. Hi, Roz. Hi, Holly. Good to see you. So I'm busy getting ready for class tomorrow. I'm excited. I've got special things planned. I've got a 3D item. I've got two different cards, and they'll make two each of the two designs. And so we're going to get started early, about 930. I'm very excited. I always love um, class day. So, and Ellie gets excited too. Yes, Tammy's coming. And Ellie gets so excited. I think I might have told you before. I tell her if, if ladies are coming over. And when I say the ladies are coming, she knows what that means. And she starts watching probably when I put her down now. Oh, Roz, I do too. When I say that, which I'm not going to say it again. Hi, Kay Phipps. Good to see you from North Carolina. Um, she, when I say those words, um, which I'll say in the morning so that she knows why we're moving about and everything, because my husband kind of helps me get ready. And when I say the ladies are C-O-M-I-N-G, she knows her friends are coming because a lot of them are friends of hers too. <laughs> so we're going to have a good day tomorrow. She's gonna, We're going to put a bow in her hair for that for sure. So... Let's talk about everything that happened yesterday with Stampin' Up. Oh my gosh, so many things went live. Right, Ellie? We were just so busy. I didn't go anywhere all day. I was just here all day and stuff was just happening and going live. And um, let's talk about the different things. I'm still recovering. Literally, I slept in a little bit today because I had been up late, you know, the night before ordering because I ordered... Early, late here, but which is like right around midnight uh, mountain time for Stampin' Up. So, online exclusives, a whole bunch of mm, a whole bunch of online exclusives went live yesterday, yesterday. <clears throat> and especially the truck bundle, the trucking along bundle was a really big deal. And um, it went live, and then there was a little glitch, and people couldn't order it, and then it went back on, and then today there was another glitch, and it's back on. People are just nuts about the truck bundle. 
the little truck and punch bundle and mine is ordered. I got um, a message that it's coming on Monday. So I may do a live when everything comes on Monday. I didn't get everything, everything, but I got some fun stuff. Um, there was a Hanukkah set that um, they've um, taken off because they want to make a few corrections to make it better for us. And I'm going to put her down. She kind of wants to get down. And the floral set called Timeless Charm is already sold out. So, hello, Tracy Ludeman. Good to see you. So, just like I always say, I know some of you wrote um, wrote on on my page and said that you'd gotten the truck bundle, and I hope everybody got what they wanted. The truck bundle is coming back, or it's still available, but the Timeless Charm stamp set is out, and it's coming back on July 17th. So, if you want it, go in and get that truck bundle right now because I just looked right before I came on here, okay? And it is available. So go snag it now. All right, another thing that was fabulous, the clearance rack had a refresh. There are some great things on there, you guys. Dyes are 60% off, always in the clearance rack. Dyes are 60% off, that's a lot. It's really a lot. So go on there. Some people I saw um, in a couple of groups that I'm in said, you know, I wasn't going to get this and that, but I saw it. It was such a good price on the clearance rack. I got it and for my make something cute for my grandkids and whatnot. So check that clearance rack out. Um, coupons. The coupons. If you ordered yesterday, you know that you got an email from Stampin' Up with some cute $5 coupon codes. And I explained this the other day, but I want to make sure that you understand it. When you spend $50, when you place a $50 plus order with Stampin' Up, during the month of July, you'll get coupon codes. And it's not an actual coupon. Hi, Marcia Long. It's um, a little like six or seven digit number. And it comes via your email. There's no other record of it is what they tell us. So when you get one of those coupon codes, it's going to be worth $5 and you can spend it in the month of August. And so um, if you get the coupon codes, if you have them emailed, save that email from Stampin' Up. And what I'm doing is I am taking a picture with my camera. Happy Aloha from Minda Neeson. Good to see you from Hawaii, Minda. So if you get coupon codes, save the email, but just to make sure, um, take a photo with your phone and save those for August so that you'll have the numbers. You can enter them in when you place an order in August and you'll get $5 off for every coupon code. So that's pretty spiffy. So I think that's all the announcements. I kind of zipped through them because we're going to do some fun stuff today. We are going to make baby cards. Now, before you say, oh brother, I don't want to make baby cards, um, they can be made into other things, especially this one set. Roz prints out the email and puts it on her memo board. Very good idea. <coughs> I'm going to have just a little bit of my, this is um, flavored clear sparkling water. No calories, you guys. Very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn down, and I'm just going to talk to you for a minute about what we're going to be doing today, so, because I want to have enough time to play. Okay, we're not going to make this one, but I, what I, it's one I made and I wanted to show you. The sets we're going to use today are Little Dreamers and Sweet and Precious. And mostly I wanted to show you the sweet and precious, and that's the one we're going to use today. I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, this is an amazing stamp set, and I'm going to show you today how great it is. If you haven't gotten it, I was shocked at how wonderful this stamp is, these stamps. And then I'm going to use little dreamers. I like the sentiments here and the little stars to if I'm going to use this for a baby card. Now you can use this Sweet and Precious for a lot of different occasions. It, this really isn't necessarily a baby set, but I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so 
and we're going to make today um, Dutch door cards. I don't know why. I'm just kind of stuck on them right now. So this is a little Dutch door card um, using the little dreamers set and I colored the little elephant and I guess I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Um, at our church we had a couple one couple had a boy and one couple had a baby girl. Well, the girl isn't, the boy isn't born yet, but we know he's gonna be a boy coming in the next few weeks. The girl was born last week. So I have two baby cards, one boy and one girl to make. Okay, so this is the one I did from Little Dreamers. And this is the Dutch door card that has the half, the little half front that opens. And um, I like the little stars from this set the little star stamp and so I put that on the envelope and on the inside. Okay now here is one of the sweet and precious cards. I wanted to try this out in pink. Okay this is the um, giraffe and this is bubble bath, our new bubble bath. The paper behind it is from that big fat pack called um, Delightfully Eclectic which, that I was encouraging you guys to get. Um, hi, Margaret Gordon. Good to see you. You've already got six coupons? Oh, boy, you've been having a good time. <laughs> Wonderful. Linda hasn't made a Dutch door card yet. I'm going to show you. I've showed you before, but I'm going to show you again today so you really can get it down. Um, so I made this out of bubble bath. Now, the stamp is so amazingly beautiful that because the color is light, I'm gonna, we're gonna make today one with a darker color. But this paper, I love, you know my favorite color is pink. And this is from the Delightfully Eclectic. And then this um, wonderful border, we're not gonna use the border, we're gonna use another one of the dies from the Darling Details dies. And this is the border that I used. The one we're gonna use today is this uh, larger frame. But I think that border die is so cute and so that's the little I didn't even put it inside on it because I wanted to go on to the next one okay and here's the one that I made earlier today and I wanted you to see this we're going to make it a little different but look at this giraffe I know the others are cute the um, koala I think that is maybe or a something else and the penguin, super cute, but I am in love with this giraffe. And this stamp, you guys, i it's easy to stamp, super easy, and it comes out so detailed and so beautiful. Oh, Margaret spent big. <laughs> and Sawson, good to see you. Mowing grass, good idea. So I just love, this is what I wanted. If you have not seen the Sweet and Precious set, I really wanted you to see it today. And I've stamped here in Pecan Pie, I'm pretty sure. It's one of the new colors, and I'm not a big brown person, but it's beautiful. And the uh, Glorious Gingham, there's in the Glorious Gingham 6x6 uh, six six, um, DSP, there's a whole grouping of the Pecan Pie Gingham, and I, I love Gingham for baby cards, don't you? And then I put some of those little stars and the sentiment is also from the Little Dreamers. So basically, I've combined the two sets to make this card, and then I put some of those little stars in the corner. So what I thought this time we'd do is we'll make this same card, but we're going to use that frame from the Darling Details. We're going to cut that die out and see how that looks, because you can get much real frilly with a little baby card, boy or girl, right? Okay, so let's get started. And we'll start by learning how to make the um, Dutch door card. Because you can do all kinds of things with the Dutch door card. Oh, and I wanted to show you, in case you wanted to know, The Little Dreamers is on page 57 of the annual catalog. It's $24. Super cute if you have babies in your uh, future, grandbabies or friend babies. Um, it's a per it's a great baby set and then here is the sweet and precious set this was not yes it is new okay um, and that is on page 83 and it's $26 but I'm telling you the detail on this set is amazing so let's um, get out my 
paper trimmer, and you, the one thing I didn't mention, um, there, they have not have Stampin' Up has not had the scoring blades for the paper trimmer, and so those just came out yesterday as part of the online exclusive. So if you need scoring blades, go over there and grab them. I forget how much they are. I did get some. Alrighty, so we're we're using, whoops. Um, we're using balmy blue. That is what I think is the, the baby blue. I'll call it baby blue just for, you know, because it's it's the closest to a, a blue for a baby card that I can think of. Becky Schlossnagel, good to see you. Okay, so this is our standard eight and a half by five and a half card base out of balmy blue. We're going to put it in the paper trimmer and we're gonna score it at the standard four and a quarter, the half mark. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to cut off half of, or approximately half of the front to make the Dutch door car, uh, part of it. So the Dutch door part, this is five and a half, and the way I've been doing mine is three inches stay on and I cut off two and a half, okay? So I'm not moving my card because this way I'm going to get a very good cut because I know it's going to cut right in the scoring place. Oh, $6 for two. Okay, thank you so much on the scoring blades. So here comes the cutting blade. So I already have the measurement five and a half over here and I've put a little piece, a little strip of petal pink paper in there on my paper trimmer and adhered it with little glue dot, mini glue dots, because it helps me to see the numbers in there much better. So I see it at five and a half, and I know if I want three inches to remain on my card for the Dutch door part, I'm gonna come down to the three inch line. It doesn't even take any addition or subtraction. That's what I like about it. So taking my blade and going down to the three inch mark. Perfect, right? And now we can take that off. Now what I want to do is cut off this part. So I want to cut along here. So what I'm actually going to do is flip my, flip my card over and I'm going to go to the two and a half inch mark, which is going to cut just where I want it to. Let me bring this back up to the top and I'm going to come down to where the other cut line was. And usually you can feel, you can if you're going slow, you can feel when it comes into that other line. And there you go. And now we have our Dutch door card and we can set this piece aside. So it's already scored. We just turn it like that and there it is. Not hard, right? So that is your Dutch door card. Now what I like to do is, um, after I cut, I like to take my bone folder and I like to smooth out those cut lines. Um, sometimes, especially when you're cutting in the middle of a score line, sometimes, you know, it's a little rounded there. And so I like to do that. I just like to smooth my lines. If, you're, if you kind of have some perfectionist ten tendencies, you're going to want to do that. So now we've got that done. All righty. Now the next thing I think we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and stamp our giraffe. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for, to stamp the giraffe. Um, the giraffe stamp, you can put it on um, a stamp positioning tool if you want to. I'm using the, let me see, the e-block. It fits really, really well on an e-block. And I've just got a big piece of paper here. Okay. I, I didn't cut anything to size because we're going to use a die to cut it. And this is my pecan pie ink. And you can see the stamp. It's, um, it is very detailed. Okay, so I'm just, it's one of those stamps that stamps well. I love those stamps that you stamp and it comes out just right. And I'd like to take a look at it to make sure I don't have ink on any edges. And I don't think I do, possibly a bit there. Okay. Now what I want to do, I've learned from experience that this is the head of the mama giraffe. And I want it to come out kind of from the side and a little headed downward. So I'm just going to press it right there. 
and I want to make sure all that detail, it looks like I'm pressing hard, I'm not pressing super hard, but I do want to get the impression in there. Look, can you believe how gorgeous that is? Let me just put the lid on my ink here and then I'm going to hold it up for you to see. You put, Becky put tearing, tearing tape on the cutting board. It's the perfect size, but you never thought of colored paper. Okay, good, same, same principle. So I want you to look at the great detail here. Isn't that just so beautiful? I mean, who would imagine? Normally, I don't know, to me, this is just a really amazing stamp. I just love it. I think people would never imagine that was a stamp someone not in the kind of paper stamping business. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try cutting it with this little lacy frame from the Darling Details. So let's get out this one. You have to use the uh, full size stamp and cut and emboss machine and I got brand new plates. You guys get to see me use brand new plates. It's always so much fun to use new plates. I love it. Okay, so let's, we have to figure out, we're going to, you can help me, we're going to do it together and figure out just where we want the giraffe to be positioned. I'm going to scooch myself over a little bit so I can see what I think. I'm going to, I guess we kind of want her right in the center, don't we? little bit in the center. I think we're going to go with that and let's see how it's going to come out now. Let's see. Put our top plate on and run it through. And it does leave a beautiful, oh, oh, I didn't know that would happen. My gosh, what is the matter with me? I wasn't paying any attention. I didn't know the frame would be out here. How odd. Well, that is odd. We're going to have to do something different now. Okay, you're seeing me really just, I don't even know what I'm doing now. All right. So I guess I forgot about that. I thought the I forgot that the frame didn't have a cutting blade on the outside. It just has little little um, niches. Little okay. So huh. all right, another idea. Okay, let's do something else. Okay, um, let me get these off of here. These little dots. So we're just we're just figuring things out right as we go. I guess I, I've only used that a time or two, so I guess I didn't really I wasn't really planning on that happening. Let's think of something else. So what I'm gonna do this time is we're gonna stamp our giraffe one more time and we're gonna cut out from a piece of blue of our um, balmy blue paper. So let me get some. Let's get a piece of balmy blue here. Let's see if I, this is my scrap area, my scrap paper. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Okay, we'll make a frame out of balmy blue. Let's do that. Okay. And so we're gonna cut our frame. That's weird, that's just funny. So we're gonna cut our frame three and a half by it looks like four and three quarters. Okay, let's try it again. You guys are sticking with me, aren't you? Use your trimmer. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Okay, three and a half by four and three quarters, I think. So, four and three quarters. We're learning together by three and a half. Okay. Just like that. Alrighty. Now we're going to do it. Now let's run it through and we'll have the frame and then we will re-stamp the giraffe. And I'll have an extra giraffe, which is kind of fun too. Okay. So let's try this. 
I'm going to put it at an angle because it runs through better. And we'll just see if we can't get that just perfect on there. Okay. Here we go. Okay. No, cut the other frame out with your trimmer. Yes, I could do that. I could do that, Marsha. I get, I get you. Yeah, I totally get you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Because I wanted to have a frame around. So, all right. So now let's trim the little stitching off. I guess we'll trim the little stitching off. Let's do that. Okay. And then we're going to have, I'll have to ponder whether I like the stitching or not, but just thinking about it today, I, I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. We may have a redo another day. Okay, so we're just trimming the, the stitching off. I guess this shows I haven't really played with my product enough. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys are so kind to me. Yes, you're right, Tina, but it might look, I don't know, I'm thinking it might look a little bit funny. Let, we'll try it. We'll see about it fitting in. Okay, let's see now. Where's our little giraffe piece? Come here, giraffe. Okay, here we go. Here's our little giraffe piece. Yep, it does fit right in there, doesn't it? But, you know, the problem is we need something to, like, hold it to go on our, to go on our, you know what I mean? I think I need a white piece behind there, this exact size, don't you? Because these two pieces are kind of loose. Well, I should have tried this and pre-thought. Hmm. Or we can go back to our white just like Tina was saying. You like the stitching? You like the stitching? Yeah, I kind of... Oh, goodness sakes, what have we done here? So let me get, while we're at it, let's just get... Okay, here's a piece of white. And I said three and a half by four and three quarters, right? No, I don't think this is... That's not four and three quarters. Maybe we could, let's see, three and a half by four and three quarters. All right, let's see how this would be. We could just put that right on there and slide this little giraffe in there and then it will sit on for us. What do you think? I think we're going to do that. It's the best I can figure out right at a moment's notice. Yes, we'll glue. We will glue. Okay. This is <laughs> flying by the seat of your pants. <laughs> I was telling someone the other day how kind you guys are to me, and I really have to say that's true because I just really just play when I'm with you guys. I don't, I thought I had it planned, but I didn't. And some of our little dots are poked out, and some of our little dots aren't. That never bothers me. I almost kind of like that. I think it's a little different. So I'm putting little dots of glue all around. So we're really learning how these dies work, aren't we? Who has these dies? Let me know if you have them and, and how you've used them. And if you knew they did this. <laughs> okay, tiny little dots. There we go. All right, now we can put this right on there and it should work out. Perfect. An awesome process. <laughs> it's a funny process. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got that on there. That's a tiny, tiny bit crooked right there. Let me see if I can get that. Okay, that's a little better. And now we can glue the little giraffe in. Someone will come up with a project and do this on purpose, but I kind of did it by accident. But it sure does fit in there just perfectly. 
and I'm going to, I see just a little tiny um, bit of paper right here. I'm just going to trim that little bit of balmy blue off if I can. Okay, good. All right, yay, we did it. Pop up the giraffes. Ooh, well, too late now, but I could have. Okay, so now we can put the, let's do the inside of our card now. Oh, I'm getting hot. I have to get my little fan. This time I have my husband's, it's the white fan. Thank you, thank you, Pam. You've been, you missed my, I didn't really know what I was doing, and so we've been having fun here. So I'm fanning myself with my cute little fan. Okay. So now we're going to put our little piece, let's, we're going to do the inside of the card. That's right. Um, and for the inside of the card, what I'm going to do, and some of you may not do it quite this way, but I want the gingham to show. And so I'm going to do it like that. Now, you could cut a piece of white like that, but I don't know. I, I find it nicer to do the full thing and then put the gingham on top. Um, I don't know. I just feel more confident about that. that then I'm not worried that the edges don't come together just right. This way, it works really nicely, and we're just going to put that on like that. And this gingham I love because you can use the more modern wide uh, gingham or the little one and this is perfect for a little baby card so we're just going to put this right over there i'm going to hold it up a little so i can get it just right and then we can put our little giraffe on and doesn't i think that looks kind of cute i'm surprised at how the border worked out but I still really like it so let's go ahead and get some dimensionals on here and we can put a lot of dimensionals um, because this comes down quite far much further than my previous piece so what I'm going to do is start up at the top myself because I know it's going to be this at least be this far down and we'll just I like to do the dimensionals on this part and have this popped up. Come on off. Okay. So now let's measure kind of the best we can. Okay, there we go. Now we can stamp a little bit on our envelope and on the inside and we could put our sentiment on the inside um, so our sentiment is the congratulations i thought i had a little piece here oh, that's a blue piece um, actually we could we could stamp on a little blue piece we could stamp the sentiment it's a very cute sentiment but i think i'm going to stamp it on the bottom or top of of our little giraffe that we didn't use. So let's go ahead and do this because I like the sentiment for a new baby. I really do. Congratulations. And this is a good stamp too. Nice, easy to stamp. Congratulations on your new little one. And I'm going to just get my trimmer, and we're going to trim around that a little bit. Let's just trim around it just a bit. And then we'll put that in there. Oh, I almost cut off the S. What whoa. That's how Fridays are. You never know what's going to happen on a Friday. I don't know. Let's see what we think. Pam, you're going to melt. I know. I feel melty myself, but I know it's not as bad as you, where you are. You have air conditioning, don't you, Miss Pam? 
Oh, 96 after lunch. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm going to I'm going to do this separately later because I want it to be nicer because I want it to be for my um, my friends who the young couple that just had a baby boy. So I'm going to do that later. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to stamp some stars because I want to get that sentiment just right. And I don't want to, we've been on already for 35 minutes, so I don't want to keep you guys forever because I know you have things to do too. And these little stars are just so cute. And let's put the stars on the envelope. Like that. So there is that card, and here is this one. So these are the two uh, boy cards, and then we have the two girl cards. Just like this. I guess we could do without the, we don't need to have the envelopes. We know what those look like. Let's just put them like this so we can see. Aren't those cute? Do you see what I mean about that giraffe stamp? I just love it. I, I really, if you haven't gotten that stamp set, and let me show it to you one more time. Sweet and precious. Um, you know, you can use it for a lot of different occasions. It can be a friend, it says, I believe in you. It could be for a child, even an adult child. Appreciate all you do. Bring on the cuddles. Now, if I wanted to make a, a, a little bit more lighthearted card, I could have stamped bring on the cuddles. And then I'm always here for you. Isn't that, I just really love this stamp set. And I think it looks better in, the, in a darker color. So the prize for today is that I'll give away a week from today is two of these cards. I only need two and I just made four. So I'm going to choose the two that I want. And I think actually that I'm going to take these two for my, for my two couple friends that are having the two babies. So these are the two cards that I will give away that will be the prize for next week. And so let's get the matching envelope for this little guy. And for the pink one, I had a little gray, um, little gray stars. So that is the prize for next week. Okay, so if you put prize, I'll be, um, thank you, Linda. You'll get these two cards. Um, yes, thank you for baby cards and announcements, all kinds of things. Okay, I'm going to come up now and we'll award the prize for this week. And the prize for this week um, that we showed last week was these great adhesive back sequin trio. And it, we talked about the fact that it kind of looks like a 4th of July, even though it's pink and green and white up above, but it kind of looks 4th of July-ish. And the winner is Diana Knapp. Um, she watched me last week over on YouTube, but sometimes she's here with us, I think, on Facebook. So, Diana, I have your address, and I'll be getting these out to you right away. Well, you know me, you guys. About two weeks. I'm, I'm just, that's not my best thing is mailing. I do get them out, but not right away. So, sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'll get them out to you within two weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I need to get better at my mailing. So, anyway, this is the, this is the prize that's going to Diana Knapp. Congratulations, Diana. And you guys have a great weekend. I hope you have just a wonderful, relaxing weekend. Stay inside. And um, thank you all. And if I get my stuff on Monday and I have time, if I get my new um, order,